Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Jay-Z here with another video on Action Timing. Today, we're gonna check what exactly is enchantment and how we can use it. But before we start, don't forget to leave a like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. So before we even start that, uh, guys, let me tell you, uh, I'm still working on the club. I do have some spaces that I can unlock and I'm gonna leave my Discord. It's not like I have a Discord of my own, it's just my account. Uh, so that you can uh, send me a message if you want to uh, get a seat here. So, yeah, because we don't have that many uh, uh, spaces available, many seats available. So, uh, I, I might as well add you both. Send me a message so that I can do that. So, that's one thing. Uh, and also, guys, uh, be beat on my own uh, on my own club or on someone else's club. When you request uh, entry, be sure to add your ing, your in-game name, because otherwise we the, the host is not going to know who wants to be added. So. That's one thing. There's a couple glitches. It's like sometimes the um, the requests get lost or something. I think there, that's still happening. I don't know. But in any case, let us go to the main topic. So, enhancement. What is exactly enhancement? Uh, where do we get the materials? Why do we need it? So, for that, we're going to go to inventory. And as you can see, my weapons have a number. It says plus 13, plus 15, plus 11, okay? So that means that those weapons are enchanted. I'm gonna take um, this one. So this weapon is five out of five. Um, actually, I I'm trying to find, I think in Asagi's case, yeah, this is perfect. So to compare, weapons that are enchanted and not enchanted and with different uh, S levels, I'm going to use as like his weapons. So first we have, uh, I don't know, for example, this one. This one is S level one. And look at the stats. Each weapon stats are going to be different, but uh, the range is kind of similar depending on the number of uh, copies that you have. This gives me 2,430 stats and this one uh, 2,933 uh, stats. This is attack, this is crit. So, what happens if I go to, uh, not this one, but rather this one. This is 5 out of 5. Look at the difference in the stats. So, yeah. From 2,043 to 3,894. And from 2,933 to... 3,881 so it is obviously going to be stronger if you have more copies but that's not all you also want to enchant it by clicking on the enchant section you're going to be able to uh, use coding fluid and elements you are elements in this case because this is our your weapon to increase the stats even further okay so, this is what a weapon plus 11 looks like. It's 5 out of 5. So, let's compare it. This one was 3,800, 3,800. This one is 5,400, 6,600. And what happens if I max these weapons? They're going to look something like this. 6,100, 7,900. So, yeah, th this one has more crit than anything. Uh, it kind of works that way, is this specific weapon, but um, you can see that, that the stars are increased drastically. Comparing this to the S level one, it's like it quadrupled the stats almost or something like that. So, yeah, you do want to do the enchantment. The supporters, the supporters are not going to give you attack and crit, they give you. HP and defense for your character that gets added to your uh, character with the supporters that they have equipped. That's pretty good because they become more tanky. 
So you do want you do want to uh, to equip as many supporters as possible, and you want them to have as many copies as possible. Fortunately, you can just put fodder F2P supporters or maybe the SR supporters. That's good enough. Trust me. And you want to enchant those so that they give you even more HP and uh, defense. Let's see. Is there one? Mm, this is almost good, but I, I want something. Nope. Yeah, I uh, no, I think no. No, it's two out of five. Ah, oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. So Stella. Stella is five out of five on both copies. But this one is plus zero. It gives me 4,743 HP and 3,611 defense. With plus 13, that becomes 7,827 and 5,958. So yeah, the defense and the HP increase is noticeable. And you do want to raise those... Uh, those enchantment levels for these you're going to be using the orbs and i'm going to talk about those in a moment like these resources in particular but uh, one thing that you have to take into consideration is that the chances get diminished is each time you roll uh, if i go here uh, and i try to enchant it it says success rate 100 percent. i am guaranteed on the first one but then it's going to be 95 and then it's going to be uh, 90 and then 85 80 and so on okay so for this one for the last one because the maximum is plus 15 you see that you can only get 20 percent uh, success rate which is atrocious it is terrible what i recommend you to do is that you reach level 10 as a beginner reach level 10 then after a couple months you may try to reach 13 and after a while when you have a ton of resources you do want to try to hit plus 15 but only on a specific weapons the ones that give you the most value the ones that are the strongest okay uh, you can also do that for the pvp weapons because there are going to be beat sticks that increase your stats and you put them on the sub slot they're going to be pretty effective and you want to use this whenever you are en uh, enchanting the from plus 13 to plus 14 and plus 14 to plus 15. Uh, you want to use, you can use this one. I mean, it is not that impactful. One out of three times you're going to be able to get the, the enchantment. Um, but with this one, it's a 40% chance. It's more noticeable. It's actually very good. And on the third one, on, well, not on the third one, on the last one, the plus 14 to plus 15, you're going to have one in one in three chances to to get it right which is unfortunate but it is risky if you have these ones the 50 ones don't consider them guaranteed they are not guaranteed they can fail and it sucks when they do but um, they are useful nonetheless and it's preferable you use them on the last level of enchantment the plus 100 are guaranteed only use them on the last level of enchantment please and now to get re these resources so these resources um well I'll, I'll put it here on the material section we have ritual bell and cutting fluid ritual bell and cutting fluid you can get from dismantling with this button weapons and supporters the ritual bear for, from the supporters the cutting fluid from the weapons along with those you're gonna get elements from the corresponding weapon that you're dismantling if it's a rare weapon you're gonna get rare versions of the elements or if it's an sr it's gonna be sr if it's ur it's gonna be this but don't dismantle ur it's better to re-roll that uh, on the exchange facility if you have dismantling coins I'll talk about it in this video, but let's continue with this. So, the same can be said about the orbs. The orbs are for the supporters. So, if you dismantle rare, uh, secret rare, or you are, you get this. And these ones that are um, broken, you can use them to craft any, any of the corresponding rarity of element or orb. 
how do you get the ah we have wood but we don't use wood wood is like we don't use wood guys don't think about it you cannot use it effectively ignore it completely okay Th there is value in wood but i'll explain that later <laughs> i keep saying that a lot so uh let's see so 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 um where do we get them other than dismantling weapons and supporters you can also get them on the daily quest secret quest here there are different difficulties and as you can see there's only these materials in the first two but if i go up then we have this the secret rare material and in the fourth one we also have the secret rare material and on the fifth one we also have the ur material which i know it is a very very low low chance but it actually drops every now and then so don't worry too much about it you just want to do it daily so that you have the most chances to get this you do get more value the more characters you have because uh, you can do up to 12 uh, simultaneous runs you select a character you are going to play with that character but you also get the rewards from all the other ones that you select which is great so uh, because back in the day we had to do each one manually and that sucked trust me <laughs> it is good as, as it is you can use these items but don't like there's a special drop campaigns where and that's when you want to use those like in general don't you don't use them um so you want to get as many as possible so that you have uh, higher chances because you're gonna fail you're gonna fail when trying to enchant your weapon and the more you enchant the more uh, likely it is for you to actually hit the the price and get a level up so keep that in mind if you fail the enchantment uh back to the weapons here if you fail the enchantment you're gonna get this enchantment fail reward with this material you can craft these ones i mean you can also craft the the 10 percent, but never craft the 10 percent. always go for 20 percent. so that's a good thing because if you fail you're going to get rewarded so that you have better chances next time but guys uh, do it when you have at least 10 or minimum 8 because if you think like with one or two you're gonna do it you might get disappointed so keep that in mind do have a couple of these uh maybe above five above five is a good number okay uh then as you progress, the requirements are going to go up. This is one and three for these materials. But if I select the other one, it's going to say five and nine. So the further you enchant, the further uh, it requires, the more materials it requires. Uh huh. So I know it sucks, uh, especially because this basically is a whale ish system. And yes, it was at the beginning. Nowadays, we receive a ton of these materials through campaigns, on the daily quests. Um, I mean, there's ways to farm them. Actually, talk, talking about farming them. If you go to the gold section, the gold gacha here, you can roll and you can get some special weapons. The wood weapons. The wood weapons don't give you stats. I mean, they do. They do give you some stats, but they're the lowest in the game. Uh, they also do not have slots for Magatamas. And there's little reason to get them other than the skin. And to dismantle them. Because these weapons you can get with gold. And if you dismantle them, you're going to be able to get cutting fluid. So let's see. Can I get one? Please let me get one. At least one. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's see. One. No. It didn't give me. So, well, in any case, it, it doesn't matter. So you would go here and you would select N for normal. And you would get the materials. Look, I'm going to do it with UR. And here I have the materials. But I'm not going to do it with the UR. I'm going to do it with the normal. And you will get cutting fluid and, and the wood one, but we don't use the, the wood element. 
So do use it, guys. It's going to be pretty useful. Um, as I mentioned, go for 10, then go for 13. And once you're, you have over 50, go um, maybe 100 or 150 uh, elements or orbs, go for the plus 15. Trust me, you burn them super, super quickly. And preferably you spread your resources out so that every character has weapons that you can use so that you can play with them. Um, mainly you're going to need three strong characters. So focus on weapons for your three main. And then you can start spreading them onto other different characters. Uh, for example, if, if you check my account, you're going to see that I have almost every character with at least uh, one or two weapons with plus, plus 13, plus 14, plus 10. Um, let's see. Um, no, I think I, I don't have anyone without uh, a plus, an enchanted weapon. Oh, I do. Sue, unfortunately. Like, I do have some strong weapons, but... I don't use her that much. She hasn't leveled up just yet. Or, well, I haven't leveled her up um, past the level 75. I, I mean, she's 77 now that I think of it. But still, uh, the point remains. She's uh, not that strong. So that's why I don't enchant her weapons. So focus on your tr three main characters. And consider Lapis to be one of them because you're going to need her for VR. <laughs> so, yeah, that's about it, guys. Oh, do not neglect, do not neglect the SR weapons. There's two kinds of good SR weapons. Well, technically, there's a third category, but that's uh, very, very niche. So, first kind of good weapon that you might may enchant is going to be the anti-trade weapon, anti-human, anti-demon, anti-machine that uh, some characters have those kind of weapons. Then there's the critical, no, this one, the critical damage increase uh, weapons. Those are very, very good. And just a handful of characters have that weapon. Do enchant those. They are basically a UR in disguise. I can tell you that. And lastly, there's these very niche weapons. This is even nicher, but I mean these ones. This one. The, I, I don't even know how to um, explain this family of weapons. But these things, you can see it's this one, this one, this one, and this one. Are going to be weapons that recover HP. And that's valuable. Very, very valuable. Especially at the beginning of the game. So... Do consider enchanting these weapons uh, for supporters, SR supporters, like a very big amount of supporters are very useful, even though they are SRs. Uh, Har Mido Haruka is excellent. Um, Yusuriha is also great. Um, Homari now is amazing, even with the demerit. And you may consider Nanase... Nanase Mai, but put it on the main if you are going to use this because you want the active. So, yeah, uh, there's other good supporters, but those are like the highlights. Keep that in mind. Uh, try not to dismantle anything that is UR. Yeah, just to finish the, the, this, the exchange facility. So, here in the exchange facility, you're going to be able to use different items to get. Uh, equipment you're gonna change four pieces of supporters or uh, weapons for another supporter or weapon but what do we do we equip the dismantling effect uh, with the what's the name of this item uh, I think it's dismantling something uh, the, well it gives us the dismantling effect that's what matters so you're gonna get this you're gonna put apply and then you're going to put your um, supporters. I'm not going to use these ones, but let's say that I, I'm not going to use them. <laughs> I, I, you have to press this button, but I don't want to even test my luck on that. So 
you will dismantle all of this immediately and also get a copy of a random supporter, either a permanent gacha supporter or event supporter, like let's see, let's say Galim, Galim is an event supporter, or if you're using four UR supporters, you also get a chance, a 5% chance to get a limited supporter or weapon depending on the item that you're using and here is the limited supporter list you can check it many of these are pretty useful don't think that it is very dumb and, and unreliable and trust me that it happens not like super often but it does happen it does happen like right now in the anniversary just to tell you my experience i got a new supporter that i didn't get initially and that is, that is going to be red because I don't see her. <laughs> Here, Urehaorin. I didn't have this one. And I managed to grab it thanks to the exchange facility. Do not disregard this. This is the best way to dismantle your URs. Do not dismantle that with this button. You dismantle SRs, Rs normals with this not yours that you do on the exchange facility how do you get those um, coins you get one if you buy the golden pass Ooh, that's bad that's paid well guess what there's another option you can also get one from the golden pass no not the golden pass the club pass and that's completely f to p yay that's gonna be great great for everyone uh, every now and then, and when I say every now and then, it's like super rare, actually. <laughs> uh, they do give some in different campaigns or in boxes. They are extremely rare, but it has happened. Uh, the, the boxes, I do have my doubts. I don't remember that well. But uh, you're going to get some. Besides, honestly speaking, if you don't roll that often you don't need them too much so if you grab them on the like at the beginning of the game you work and you grab this it's going to be more than enough for you to uh, be able to re-roll when you have more resources in the game so yeah that's about it for the enchantment uh, system what do you think about it, guys? Do you think it is useful? Do you think it is whaley? It, it used to be very whaley. Now it isn't as whaley. Um, if you want to hit level... No, uh, trust me. Level 10 is like not that difficult. But if you want to go to maybe plus 7, that's going to be good enough while you level up all your weapons steadily. And then you go to plus 10, plus 13, and lastly to plus 15. And plus 15, you can leave it at the very, very end. Uh, let's say that you do your three main characters, and then you do some other characters. And then you can do maybe that weapon, that specific weapon that you do want to max out. So take this slowly it's something that takes time for sure we do not get uh, a bunch of these resources i enchant weapons um i do enchant weapons but i roll so th that's uh the, the paid aspect but if i were to do it f2p i would probably be enchanting weapons every two months or something like that keep that in mind like, but but it's not like one level i would enchant it some levels um uh, and i cannot show you the last thing that i should mention and it's the crafting facility i cannot show you but in this facility you can exchange your rare materials for secret rare materials and your secret rare materials for ur materials which is very useful unfortunately that's going to cost you cutting fluids and ritual bells you remember these ones? The cutting fluid and ritual bells. Cutting fluid you can get F2P with the 
golden gacha, with the gold gacha. And ritual bells you cannot, but technically speaking, you can exchange cutting fluid in the, in the crafting facility for ritual bells. Not the most cost efficient thing, but if you need them, get them. Why not? I won't den deny that. So uh, that's about it, guys. I hope you find this useful. <laughs> for some reason, I haven't done this and someone uh, brought it to my attention. So um, do not despair. Keep farming. Work steadily to progress on your goals and you'll reach the end. Trust me. So that's about it for today. And I'll be seeing you next time. Bye.